My name is Tony Swanton. I'm a blacksmith. I make suits of armor and swords. My business is making weapons for movies, video games, television shows, commercials, all of that. Blizzard Entertainment has approached me to make a whole costume based on their character, the Demon Hunter. Because I specialize in metalwork, I'm bringing in a team to help. Because these myths are not much good for sewing. Demon Hunters are dark, shadowy warriors who are shunned by greater society. They made a pact long ago to fight against the forces of chaos using their own terrible powers. These mysterious warriors ritually blind themselves so they can develop spectral sight that enables them to see their enemies with great clarity. I enjoy collaborating with other artists, and in this case, they've brought in Steve and Chetta to do the sculpted elements, the leather work, and the prosthetic makeup. I'm really excited because we have a bunch of different things that we can do on this. We've also brought in Jessica Drew to model for the Demon Hunter. She's got a ton of cosplay and costume experience, and she may even lend a hand. So I will be doing the clothing, the non-armor, non-metal. And I will also be assisting Steve on various things. So we have everything from prosthetics to body paint to sculpture to armor parts that we can all put together into a kick-ass demon hunter. There's a bunch of steps in this project, and the first step is take a life cast of Jessica's head. So this is going to be the first step turning it into a demon hunter. We're going to start off by putting you in a bald cap. I typically use red-hot molten bronze for my cast, so I'm going to give Jessica a break, and Steve will make his cast out of alginate. Here we go. Okay. All right, good luck. <laughs> All right, Jess, you're doing great. So we've got to get this on as fast as possible before it sets. <laughs> We're going to do the plaster bandage next. All right, Jess, slowly lift your head out of it. Uh, it's me! <laughs> now that we got you out of it, we're going to cast it out of stone, and then we're going to start sculpting. Once they pull the mold off, they fill it with gypsum cement to get a model of Jessica's head. I want to do really small snaps of your ears, so I have really good information for sculpting those giant night elf ears. The only two races that can beat demon hunters are night elves and blood elves. They both have iconic ears, so getting the ear shape correct is very important. Sorry about this wet willy. The algae should be done in about five minutes. We're going to pop it right off your head. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cast some stone in it. Once I'm done with that, we're going to be able to sculpt your night elf ears. So I've already started working on the horns. I hear you're a pretty good sculptor. Why don't you go ahead and sculpt out those ears? So what we have here is plaster molds of your ears sculpt. Cool. Your final ears will be made out of foam latex. And we'll trim them, and they are ready to put on your head. You need your measurements. First and foremost, can't do anything without those. All right. Chad is making the corset out of very soft leather, reinforced with metal bands, because you want the corset to be both comfortable and functional while doing battle. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> so we're boning this corset so that it holds its own shape. And then we'll sew this lining onto the rest of the corset. While Steve and Chet are working on the sculpted pieces and the corset, I'll start making the brooch and buckle. I'm going to be cutting an emerald cabochon for the center of the necklace piece that looks like that. The emerald in the center piece was cut from emerald glass using a diamond saw and then diamond grinders to shape it up. You can see that fell energy effect. Gem cutting is actually my first love, so being able to incorporate that into the Demon Hunter, it's my passion. For the buckle, I made a pattern, and then I just transfer this down onto nickel silver sheet and cut them out with the Beverly shear. I annealed the sheet of silver, which is softening it by heating it with a torch and quenching it in uh, acid or a pickle. Now I'm going to refine it by hammering it smooth over the stakes. I'm going to put a final polish. Mirror shine for the buckle. I finished the brooch and buckle. It came out really well. I know the rest of the team are going to love it, too. Here's your buckle and your brooch. I think these detail elements are really going to complement the rest of the Demon Hunter costume that Steve and Chad have made. The Demon Hunter shoulder armor has to look great. If I was to make it out of metal, it'd be too heavy and uncomfortable for Jessica to wear it, so Steve's going to sculpt it and cast it in resin. We've sculpted it. We did our silicone layer. Now our next step, we're going to do a mother mold on it. 
We're gonna rotocast it out of a portable resin. Three more layers, and we're gonna have our very first piece of armor. So next, we're gonna paint it black, and then we're gonna paint it silver. We don't know how to make them float, so we're actually gonna attach a strap to your arm. There'll be a little ring inside your costume that we'll be able to strap it right to. We're gonna put some LEDs in. It's gonna be awesome. Even though the aluminum armor I make is lightweight, it's still a little bit too rigid and uncomfortable. So Will is going to create the arm, knee, and leg armor out of foam. This is gonna be for the knee. Once these are cut out, we're gonna go ahead and adhere them together using rubber cement. So we're gonna actually bevel these edges and add some high points. We're gonna add some battle damage to it. So I'm going to add the black and silver to really make it pop. I think a lot of people would be surprised that the armor that they see in movies is actually not metal. It's made out of foam painted to look like metal. And we're gonna do the same process for your shins, your legs, and the other knee. So we've trimmed up your ears. So we're gonna affix it to you using a common medical adhesive. It's gonna look really cool when we start painting it and bringing it all together. So what do you think? <laughs> now we're going to start laying base colors. Purple everything. Night elves have a distinctive purple skin, and this will be the final stage to bring the character to life. Oh, it's really cold. Now I'm going to add shadow and detail. Steve, Chad, Will, and I have spent over 250 hours creating this costume, and our model's transformation into a demon hunter is finally complete. A lot of fun collaborating with this really creative team. I think the Demon Hunter costume turned out great. I'm just surprised they didn't ask me to model it. <laughs>